bind, and what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. What? Um, although there were some twists and turns along the way, the one that who killed my hero Kazumi is. Hold on a sec. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey. There's no reason to hesitate, no matter how you look at it. It's Pekko the killer. Why? Hey, hey. Well, why? Well, isn't it obvious you're not a tool? You're a freaking human being. If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. If that's what you're saying. You're wrong. You just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. People such as myself only exist to be tools. Hey. What does that mean for you, Hiko? Yeah. Pekko and I grew up together. Um. Are you two childhood best friends then? No. No. It's completely different than that. Right after I was born, I was abandoned by my parents. The Kazuryu clan took me in. They gave me a reason to exist. I am to fulfill my duty as my young master's property. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. That is... You were wrong. You are not a tool, Pekka. Because if you are a tool, then what was all of that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by young master to behave, just as I ordered was ordered to, just as I was ordered to interact with you all. Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students for now. Right after we arrived on this island, that is what young master ordered me to do. You fiend. That is why you were hiding your relationship, you mean. No. It's not as if that started the moment we arrived on this island. Before that, my young master has always told me to hide our relationship. My young master loathes relying on his household power. Even He even hates me, the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. If my young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. Then... The one who tried to kill Mahiru wasn't you. It was Fuyuhiko. Damn it. It is what it is. Even I thought that... When I thought I beat the game, I was suddenly given a fo these photographs. Damn it. Damn it. I don't understand. Why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me. And she's, she's covered in blood. What does that mean? Why can't I remember? How come I don't know if my sister's dead? You... You tried to confirm it with Mahiru, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So? Yeah, I sent her the photos because I wanted to make sure she'd respond, but she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. I, I'm pretty sure Mahiru was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, even if we were told that we were connected to it, there's no way we would accept it. Uh you know, when Mah Mihiro spoke to Abuki, she mentioned something about this. Oh, oh sorry. I actually have plans to go to the beach with everyone. Oh my, my! Wait, huh? You're not going, Mihiro? If you want to talk about it there, it'd be totally fine. Hmm. Um, it's pretty important. So you know, um, it'd be troubling to involve the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um. Serious or not, I cannot. I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I wanted to think someone to think about it with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can't... I can cancel my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, no. It's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. 
she wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Hiyoko was the only one who accepted her invitation. I, I should have gone too. But it was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, Fuyuhiko? If you could make use of their plan to meet each other alone, you could l easily lure Mahiru into your trap, right? Hey. By calling them both to the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Hiyoko. What the? Seriously, what the heck? An eye for an eye. That's the world I live in. My little sister was murdered. If that, if the reason that, that happened was because of the same person here, I have no choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? So. And so, my young master thought of a plan and executed it. I wanted to use the bat as the murder weapon because in the game, that was what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, clubbing the person to death the same way my sister was killed just seemed to make sense. Even if it ruined my disguise, it was the only thing that I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that's why you killed Mahiru with the bat. Yeah. But still, I believed her up till the last minute that that game was just a work of fiction. Even so, that bitch. Hey. Hey, if that game is actually real, are you the one who killed Girl E? Why you? Hey, I don't want to hear about that. But... The fact that your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, Why? but... You shouldn't have killed that girl. Shut the hell up! Who cares about that? Just answer me. What did you do? What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You had no right to do that. Nobody has the right to judge others for their crimes. Revenge is wrong. Jeez. Want me to be honest? This whole time, I was acting like a coward. Even if after I called Mahiru over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. But after she said that to me, that all went out the window. I got really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hid under the bench. But at that moment, <laughs> Young Master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? huh? Young Master. I am finished. What? You. Are you saying you killed because you were ordered to? A tool is not defined by its will, but by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course. Of course you don't understand. Because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Hey, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okie dokie. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterward, just as my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the crime scene. However, I considered the possibility of being found out. <laughs> In order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make sure or make use of that serial killer's story. It cannot be. You intended... You insisted that you were sparkling justice in order to make us ace in our boats. So we fell for it. We fell for a trick all along. That's right. You guys made the wrong decision. You voted me a mere tool as the killer, unaware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously Hold wrong. on. Don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. No. It should have been decided already. Isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling. I'll admit. All this talk about Pekko being a tool sounds pretty persuasive. When you approach it from various angles, it makes sense that Fu Yuhiko is actually the true killer. <laughs> hold on! I'm telling you to hold on! I see. I see. So for Pekko, Fu Yuhiko himself is your true hope then. On his behalf, you killed Mahiro. And now you are trying to sacrifice us so that you can protect him. Great! You would only go that far because he's your one and only hope. Wrong. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just <laughs> a tool. Well, even if we ask her, she'll probably play dumb anyway. Now then. So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Fuyuhiko. What do you think? Huh? About what? Hey. Is Pekko just a tool to you? Using that tool? Surviving by sacrificing Pekko and the rest of us? Is that your hope? What? Uh. Hold on. What's the use of axing something like that? What? 
Huh? You seem distressed. A mere tool doesn't panic like that, right? Jeez. Peko, be honest. Are you trying to protect Fuyuko, Fuyuhiko of your own free will? Hey. Fuyuhiko, you can tell me the truth. The fact that she killed on your behalf, the fact that she lied to us by acting like the killer, are those all things you ordered her to do? Is that the truth? I, I... Um, yeah. I know I hate you hate our guts, but if you listen to Pekka, we're all gonna die. I, 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 I... You just have to tell the truth. I was only following your orders. You just have to tell them that. I... Fuyuhiko? You mentioned this before, but... In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya and Teru Ter are proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection if, when it's my time to kill. You're, you're only still saying that? Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You are not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are right now, right? Young Master! There's no need to hesitate, Young Master. Please just tell him the truth. Young Master, you were the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told, I, because I am a tool. Hmm. Fuyuhiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you still lose Pekko, but... Hey. If you insist you're the killer, as she just said... You can sacrifice us and survive alone. <laughs> or would you rather reject Pekko and fight alongside us against despair? Which one will be your hope? Let's hear it. Hear what you have to say. Damn it! I, I... Young Master, I am finished. You... What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen? After you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. Hey, Pekko. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young master. That is impossible. Sh Shut up! I'm ordering you not to worry about me! There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am... my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it! we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying?! Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Kyoko will be waking up soon. After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about it, Fuyuhiko? Please, tell me the truth. I guess I couldn't go through with it after all. Young master! I'm a disgrace. Because if that actually, if that's actually what I have to do to survive, I would just feel ashamed of myself. It'd mean I can't live without depending on something. I would just feel disgusted with myself. Echo. And if I'd admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you I don't want a tool given to me by the Kazuryu clan? Young master! Oh. Oh my, 
So this is how it turned Too out. Bad. And here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless. Man, how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. There's you? no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Hey. Monokuma, you knew all along, didn't you? You knew about what Pekko and Fuyuhiko discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have the surveillance cameras. You were just having fun, huh? Yeah. Man! <laughs> Even if it was an act of desperation, Pekko's claim was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually going to be the first to try to influence the outcome of a trial like that? But too bad! You're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool with a heart, is the killer. Sorry. Pekko, I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all that to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Young master. You have a kind of heart, despite being of the y y Yakuza. That is why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by my, by yourself, I believed you wouldn't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Then why? Even so. I wanted you to yeah. escape. I wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Bye. I'm sorry for what I've done to you all. It may have been selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Of course. <laughs> Pekko. <laughs> That'll do, Monokuma. Why don't you start you it already? Will never feel despair. As long as I am a tool, I am fully prepared to die. So cool. But will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People who act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. Yeah. Now then, let's begin. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one selfish request. So. Didn't I tell you not to call me young master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Pekoyama, who stood who used to stand beside you. I would like to be remembered if uh, if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep... I don't need any tools. <sighs> you did say that. <laughs> then let's begin. The punishment time brimming with despair. Why don't you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kills! This is time for the ultimate swordsman, Peko Peko Yama. Why? You stayed by my side. All this time, why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I... I never intended a, a sword or a shield. I never needed a tool. So... You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I... I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. Young master? Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Pekko. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Young master? Young master?
Oh boy. One woman army. Is he going to have to kill her? Oh no, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Was that a double kill? Did Mono come out do a double kill? Oh, he did! Holy shit! Mono come up pulled a double kill? This cannot be even for you, Hiko. This is bad. That this, this shouldn't be allowed. People dying so easily, falling like dominoes. You bastard, what is this? This cannot be. This is a lie, right? Peko! Fuyu Hiko! Such a waste. For heaven's sake. This is just the worst. Jeez. What a waste. This conclusion. What a waste. This is why. She shouldn't have, or she should have discussed it with me. Damn it. it was supposed to be a clash between two hopes, but it was crushed into something so unpalatable. Oh. You, you're still talking about that? You. The hell is wrong with you? Aren't you pissed that two of your friends just got killed? Such despair. Am I pissed? And I even, I am pissed. And I even feel sad and hopeless. But still, Isn't that right? it's going to be all right. This despair is worthless. Even this despair <laughs> is the ladder to a bright, shining future that awaits us. The higher the ladder, the brighter we can shine. That is the unmistakable truth. Hmm. Calling me a ladder, huh? So you say a pretty interesting things. <laughs> In a way, your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him. Hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying. Listen carefully. Anyway, I shall make a declaration. We'll definitely destroy you. <laughs> uh, any hopes of the ultimates here will definitely, completely, and utterly destroy you. There won't even be a stand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. How much longer are you planning to stay or say such stupid or how much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? Don't you understand? Even Fuyuhiko died, you know. Not yet. He's still alive. What? Everyone. Fuyuhiko is still alive! What? Fuyuhiko! Frantically, we rush over to Fuyuhiko's side. He, he, he's still... He, he's still breathing. Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Can't you? Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm. Serves him right. You're so you were so filled with hope at the thought of saving her yourself. That's why you ended up like that. What? Why are you laid back? Why are you so laid back about? You need to hurry up and save him. I don't huh? believe 
A surprise order? Why do I have to burn my precious calories just to save some Yakuza scum? It is your duty to save him. Duty? It's because it's written in the school trip rules. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, what? If only the blackened gets executed, then Fuyuhiko shouldn't be allowed to get executed. Well, if I could, I would do something about it right now. But since my magic stick was taken away, I am practically powerless. But you, you should be able to do something about it. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. Fine, fine. I'll save him then. Really? Like... <laughs> I was actually gonna do it all along. So I've already prepared for this. Huh? Prepared? And that's what had happened. A siren began ringing out of nowhere. And gradually it grew closer and closer. Oh, uh, an ambulance? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. I don't trust Dr. this. Dr. Killgood, you've already killed your patient. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! And if after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished out of our sight. Oh. Um, is it really gonna be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. it can't be helped. It's not like there was any other way. Perhaps. He's gonna be fine. He's probably gonna get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely gonna come back and talk a lot of smack as if nothing happened. Mm. Then all we have to do is wait. <laughs> Why do we have to wait for him? Uh, I mean, he caused Mohiru's death, you know. However. However, we must put that aside since Pekka has already been punished. Or else we will not be able to advance forward. Oh, my dear. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what has already transpired. There is no other way to move forward like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> Damn it! I guess things aren't as exciting as a shit stir like him ain't around. I didn't realize it. I was wishing for that too. From the bottom of my heart, I really wanted him to return. Fuyuhiko! I don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. Unfortunately, that's just not gonna happen. There's going to be some more. And with that, the class trial ended. But we still can't see the real ending. That we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will happen to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future. Not even a speck. As if we were in a boat floating unreliably in a vast dark sea, we were just left alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. We couldn't find a more suitable word for than that. Fifteen days, ten hours, ten minutes, fifty seconds. You guys can see it, right? You can see this countdown, too? Four people are already gone. We took our time preparing the hope fragments, but now we're no longer able to gather them. Wait, why? Honestly, I'm not so sure anymore. Whether it's better if we let them leave this island, or if we shouldn't let them escape. For those kids, which option is hope and which is despair? But I guess there's no time to hesitate. If this countdown reaches zero, that guy will probably take over our plan's final stage as well. What lies beyond that is the foul resurrection of the ultimate despair. And the continuation of the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Th that cannot be allowed. We must prevent that by any means necessary. Even if we have to pay the ultimate price. I will definitely prevent it by any means. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Chapter 2, 
sea and punishment, sin and coconuts, and Well, in the next episode of Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. That's the wrong game. Hold on. I get to make cuts anyway, so it's fine. In the next episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, we will be taking on um, the start of Chapter 3, getting that figured out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!